Hey, what's going on? You're here with your big boy boss, man, AB Boss. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Um, in the studio, man, uh, sitting up wanting to talk about a few things on YouTube. Uh, marriage. Marriage. Um, marriage is very important. Uh, some of the things that we're standing on that's our foundation with God, the principles and statutes of God. And um, the Bible says it's not good for man to be alone. But in our day and time and our society that we're in, we're finding ourselves with our independence more than we're actually following the principles and statutes of God. And um, the Bible say, when a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing and obtain favor from God. Uh, but right now, so many times uh, in life itself in 2021, um, circumstances, situations, and problems are bringing about separation. And uh, one thing that we have to know concerning these things, uh, you know, God is not an author of confusion, but God is a God of unity. And when there's unity, there's strength. And when we talk about two or three walking together, that God will be in the midst. Uh, marriage is a very key thing. Uh, it's a very somewhat kind of hard thing to talk about um, because it's different situations and circumstances in everyone's relationship. But uh, each his own. One of the things that we was just going to talk about today was marriage. And we had the question today. Um, what is disrespect? And what is a mistake? Uh, what we found out, uh, a, a mistake can be unconscious. But the disrespect is conscious of knowing. And there's so many times uh, with marriage, uh, we can find ourselves in certain circumstances and situations to where, you know, the bills are due. And, and, and we see right now in marriage is financial. It can cause problems. Um, uh, the Bible told us in Gal um, Genesis that the spirit of God will not always strive with man. And there's so many times that you can find yourself in a weak moment or, or a moment to to where the spirit of God is not with you and temptation can overtake you and override you and you com can commit these disrespectful acts or you can commit a mistake act. But the difference between the mistake is not conscious of knowing, trying to help and be a help, but find yourself in a weak moment of the flesh. You know, because we understand that the flesh and the spirit always war against each other. This is just some of the things that we're going to be discussing on our YouTube channel. Uh, real talk, real conversations. Uh, for we understand that we speak of the things that we know of and out of the things that we don't. Here I am myself as a getting ready to turn 51 in July the 28th. Um, a man that's been with his wife, for, been married for 24 years. But before the 24 years, we lived together 10 years. So we was common law married before we got married. So we'll celebrate 34 years of unity. You know, 10 years we were united. In 24 years, we've been married. And it, we done had our ups and downs. Um, you know, it ain't always peaches and ice cream, you know. But you have to learn how to, to um, hold together stick together, fight through things. For the Bible says the kingdom of heaven suffer violence, but the violence take it by force. But it's more easier to give up than it is to keep going, to fight through a lot of things. So we have to be able to put up that fight, that stance, and just hold on to your unity. Because one thing about it, we honor our vows, you know, for better or worse, for rich or poor, for sickness and health. And I think so many times now that we have lowered our standards to the point that where we don't really honor our vows that we made unto God. But listen to God. When a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing, and he obtained favor from God. See what I'm saying? You don't want to miss your favor from God in your uniting with your spouse, you know? So don't just give up so quick. Don't listen to the naysayers and, and they sales and, and, you know, just people are always going to come at you concerning your marriage because one thing you have to understand when God get the blessing the devil get the mess so be encouraged out there don't throw in the towel don't be so quick to give up you hear what your big boy boss man AB 
Oh, you know what I'm saying? On our YouTube channel, man, want to talk about some real issues, some real problems. But hold on, fight through. You know what I'm saying? It's better than the ending of a thing than the beginning of a thing. You know, and as we said, speak of the thing that you know of and not of the thing that you don't. See, I hadn't been to Israel. I hadn't been to Jerusalem. I hadn't been to Galilee. But one place I've been, I've been to the drug house. I've been to the shine house. You know what I'm saying? I've been to the club. You know what I'm saying? I've been to the whole house. You know what I'm saying? But when God works with you, and I want to tell y'all to be encouraged and don't be so quick to throw in your marriage. You know, everybody looking for a perfect woman and everybody looking for a perfect man. Y'all tell me when you find one. You know what I'm saying? Only Christ. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me. But man, on this channel, man, we're going to keep it real. We're going to keep it 100. We're going to keep it raw. And um, But just hold on. I made the mistake years ago of um, my testimony of almost over 26 years ago, uh, helping this young lady. And um, was genuine and honest about helping. But as we said, the Spirit of God is not going to always strive with men. And I made a mistake in helping this young woman to the point to where I didn't understand that I was disrespecting my wife. You know, and it was a disrespect to my wife. I had a pure conscience and a genuine conscience to, to help and do something. And in that, I want you to understand, some conversations came about that shouldn't have. So it's easy that you can fall. You know what I'm saying? Didn't say any acts was committed, so don't get it misconstrued. But anyway, you know, certain things can lead to another if you play with it long enough. One thing we always say, if you play in the devil background in his yard, you're going to eventually become that devil too. So, you know, be careful of a lot of things that you do and make sure you have respect for your spouse, your significant other, to where it don't become disrespectful. That's the difference between making a mistake and just being disrespectful. Unconscious of what you're doing, of a mistake, but being conscious of what you're doing is disrespectful. So honor your marriage, um, stay under God, and let God help you in wherever you're weak at. But don't let nobody tell you, because we got the saying, I can do bad by myself. But it's misquoted to me. You can do better by yourself more than you can do bad by yourself. But always understand, two is better than one. When God sent out his disciples, he sent them out two by two. Because he let you know if one get weak, the other one can hold him up. And wives, be that help meet to help your husband. Push him, encourage him. Don't tan him down. You know what I'm saying? Men go through enough. You know what I'm saying? Especially young black men. And we need that queen to know how to nurture, to elevate, to push, and hold that man up till he become your king and you become his queen. As Sarah would say, to Abraham is my Lord. You know what I'm saying? So men, always keep a respect for your woman, your queen, and your spouse or your significant other. And watch the favor of God bless your life. You hear what your big boy boss, man? They be once again, man. From the front porch to the city streets, we are reached too, and we guarantee to touch every heart we meet. I want y'all to be blessed out there, man. I want to let you know we love you, God. Love you more. May heaven smile upon you. It's your big boy boss, man. They be on this episode here of our YouTube channel. We we'll honor your marriage and be faithful to God and watch God be faithful to you. Y'all be blessed. I'm out. Peace.